control. Yeah. You see that traction control line? I'm like, this thing will move right here. It's here, the 2024 Suzuki Jix Aider. Man, it is beautiful. This beautiful blue color. Stick with me, you're not going to want to miss it. First thing you're going to notice is this beautiful TFT display. This is an R7 killer. It will put the R7 to shame. This is an 85 horsepower bike with about 65, 67 foot-pounds of torque. Let's get going. We're on traction control three. There are four levels of traction control, three levels of riding modes, rain, street, and then race. It does have the Suzuki. Uh, you just press the start button and it'll start it. And I know that sounds simple, but it's electronic. You don't have to sit there and hold it. Just touch it once. You've got your uh, emergency flashers there. But I'll just show you on this TFT display. You've got your tack. It goes up to about 9850. Your speedometer. Fuel gauge. Gear selector. Let's see what uh, ride mode we're in here. You'll hit your mode button. It'll change from traction control to ride mode. B, A. A being the best. Oh yeah, you can hear it. This has got a 200 and I believe 70 degree crank. So it's basically like a cross plane, like an R1. Let's get going here. Man, I tell you what, I'm excited to... This is the first one I know of in existence. Plano Kawasaki got it in. They are the, the country's biggest Kawasaki, Suzuki, and Aprilia dealer. So I want to thank them for uh, letting me do these first rides every week for y'all. They do have, uh, I was notified before I started taping today, they do have 1.9% interest on the Sue Suzuki. So that's incredible. That's a super low interest rate. I don't think it's 60 month terms. I think it's like 48 or 36 month terms. But man, <laughs> this thing also has a quick shifter up and down. I'll tell you the differences between this and the uh, Yamaha R7. First of all, this comes with a quick shifter. And I'm going to get off of it up here and walk around it and show it to you. Man, those brakes feel good. 310 millimeter brake rotors. Uh, disc brakes in the front, disc brake in the back. I think it's 220 millimeter in the back. Let's give this thing a man that woo quick shifter you don't need a clutch you can see it changing gears down and up i tell you what i man this thing feels good this is just like an 8s oh yeah this is a twisty machine right here man i tell you what this is and that motor, this has got some go to it. But it's got your gear selector. We're in uh, A mode. Let's go to, let's see if we can change it while we're moving. Yep, you sure can. We're in B mode. Let's see if it cuts a power. Yeah, it does. It cuts it a little bit. Let's go to, uh, let's go to C mode. Oh yeah, feels like a, a 400. This is, I believe, 700. Anyways, it's real close to, uh, I think it's 776 cc's. Put that blinker on, you can see that beautiful TFT. Oh yeah, you can tell when you cut that, that power mode. You do have four traction control levels, so it does have anti-lock brakes. Man, this thing rides good. This thing rides good. I'm blown away. The 8S rode good, but I think this may ride better. Also, too, let's put that neutral. Oh, man, that transmission's butter. 
got your horn here your flash to pass there you can see the headlight coming on you can see it in the back of the car you can flash to pass or just put the headlight on man this beautiful blue color the fit and finish of this stuff is awesome you got a disc brake up front you have a regular clutch in the front it's not hydraulic so if you needed to adjust it you could uh, later on after you've got some wear on it you could roll that cable back but man wow man this thing feels like a feels like a, a assassin sword right here i mean it just carves you do have uh, i believe it's kyb cartridge forks on the front uh preload in the back kyb also i may be wrong on that i'll double check and and put that up in the uh the video here i try and do as much research on them as i can quick shifter man that's nice this quick shifter is every bit i'm not lying to you as good as my bmw just how smooth it is it just works and that's like a 600 to a thousand dollar ad on another motorcycle the r7 does not have it the r7 is 200 dollars cheaper but you don't you don't get the tft display you are about 10 less horsepower about eight less on the on the torque this is r7 killer right here they do sell bags for it if you had to commute let's put this thing up here back in a and give it a little goose okay there we go there we go it's in hey let's give this thing a go oh yeah you see that traction control light this thing will move right here man this is like perfect bag i'm blown away they're gonna sell a ton of these bikes plano suzuki is the first one in the metroplex with one they are the biggest volume dealer here in uh especially the the southwest or the south south central region and so they get first pick of the litter when this stuff comes out if you want one you might better get a hold of them because i i think they've already got somebody looking at this one this is the first one that come in they do make another color on this and i think it's like a black i have to check and see but i'll check that I don't know if y'all can hear that pipe it does sound like an r1 like a cross plane and it's like a 270 degree crank position it's got uh the firing order on this it does have two cross balancers on the crank so the engine this thing is super smooth you can hear the motor but the bike is super smooth i mean look at that windshield when i rev it it doesn't even that that doesn't even translate through the uh through the bike so those counterbalancers are working but the fit and finish on this thing is beautiful i mean everything is done nice i'm sure they're going to make a, a taller windscreen for them and uh they were telling me at the shop that they already make a pipe for it acropovic and I can't remember the other one they make a pipe for it but this is going to be a tuner's paradise right here because this is already <laughs> oh yeah this thing will go ain't no doubt about it but you I, i'm sure Brent tune or more mafia uh any of those guys are gonna they're gonna come out with a flash for these and it'll open up another oh six to eleven horsepower and then a pipe you could get some more sound out of it i kind of like it the way it is but it's got your mile per gallon there and it's got let's see uh okay we're out of that trip two trip one odometer four miles on it it's got your voltmeter your average 
that's pretty neat i better get in the right gear man that 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 uh gearbox is silky smooth also too on the tft uh you can put it in the white version this is the dark version or you can set it to auto in your uh your settings and it'll go white during the day dark at night whatever and that that might be opposite of what it actually is but uh man this is a cool bike i'm gonna get off of it up here i don't want to get off period because this is a fun bike to ride oh yeah you can feel that torque man i love this motor this this eight 8R and 8S platform is like the perfect size motor and for you young guys that are just getting on a first bike this would be perfect right here it does have the Suzuki assist to where if you take off and you're not really giving it enough gas it will assist with that and give it a little bit of gas not not a big deal it's not going to flip you back but it will give a little bit of gas it'll assist you it does have a slipper clutch in it which is very nice uh man i love this transmit oh yeah that's third kind of lugging it and this thing it, it's jumping i mean it, you can tell it's got some torque and with uh i think it's 83 85 horsepower it's the perfect size for somebody to get on and start learning i'm a 30 inch inseam and i'm almost flat footed both feet so it's a uh, man it's a beautiful bike i wish y'all could see this blue in the daylight i mean how i'm seeing it the, i don't think the video really captures it enough i just bought this new camera this ace pro uh insta ace pro and it's doing a really good job but tell me what you think of the camera tell me what y'all think of this bike I, I put this bike on my community page on youtube and within like half a day i had like 36 comments it was the most commented bike i've ever put on there and people were saying people were saying well it's kind of taking a minute to get used to the look of them but it's it's kind of like the new corvettes it took a minute to get used to them the corvettes it took a little bit longer i think but this thing grows on you quick and when you see it in person it's just beautiful it is just purring right now i can imagine with a pipe how good this thing would sound but it does have your digital fuel gauge got your clock up there your temperature water temperature and uh i'm gonna get off of it up here and show y'all the mirrors are basically buzz free i mean you don't you don't really see them shaking very little man this is awesome and the, the seating height the bars are above my waist so it's really relaxed so uh looking at this make sure all these cameras are working i tell you what since i got rid of that gopro i haven't had any camera problems but let's scoot on around this guy watch out for this tesla oh yeah this thing just wants to go i mean i'm not even i'm not even really jumping on it and it's just it's wanting to breathe fire man this thing's gonna kill an r7 goodbye yamaha i'm gonna jump up off it here can't talk man bless that guy's heart Some people having a rough time right now man this guy's even checking it out oh i bet he is that's a cop maybe undercover uh oh hey we're we're doing what we should be doing yeah he's got them little stubby antennas on there those are killer guys man a lot of my own motorcycles they they get it but let's see if i can get a wave out of him if it turns red up here he'll, he'll probably give me a thumbs up i don't know no we're not gonna catch him most of these cops are super cool man 
long as you ain't busting through traffic at 180 mile an hour let's give this thing a little oh yeah see that traction control man that second gear this thing flies man this thing moves it is fun i'm telling you super nimble look at this super nimble wow 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 y'all leave a comment and tell me what you think about it just just watching the video it's something else i mean you got to ride one or buy one i'm lucky enough from uh plano kawasaki suzuki to let me ride this stuff They're, they've been so sweet to me aj all the salespeople up there i'm gonna get off and show you what this thing looks like it's just beautiful put the kickstand down ray boy wouldn't that be something jump off forget to uh but anyways it's got your up and down quick shifter it's got your led turn signals gsx 8r two headlights got your high beam on the bottom you can turn that on yamaha's only got one front light like that suzuki's got two you wait till you ride that at night and you'll see the difference that two makes got the gsxr intake ports there just like the 600 uh believe it or maybe it's a 1000 i know one of them's got it 310 millimeter four uh front disc you should see those gray wheels in the sun they're beautiful they got a little sparkle to them but look at this paint how beautiful it is i mean just listen to this thing part got passenger pegs here they've already got a tail tidy kit you can put on them that get rid of all that they've got pipes available for them up and down quick shifters already on it from the factory and it is smooth i'm telling you trust me this is a wicked bike look at that tft screen beautiful but anyways it's a 2024 suzuki gx 8 is what i'm gonna call it it's a it's a gsx 8r and the guys in the shop i believe named it a gx 8 like a terminator it's got the 8r logo there full fairing uh, i'm sure the oil is probably super easy i can see the oil filter from here on the other side be easy to do the maintenance on it super financing uh available right now through suzuki like 1.9 percent they told me 2024 suzuki gsx 8r 9400 dollars 200 more dollars than an r7 but twice the bike look at this thing that bike is beautiful it's beautiful look at that black that black paint it's like that uh it's like that cadillac escalade color that black frost this is reminds me of a porsche color porsche 911 turbo color but anyways beautiful bike hey thank you all for watching make sure you leave a comment make sure if you like it like the video hit that smash that like button Make sure you're subscribed. I do it every week. I appreciate y'all riding with me. The channel's doing super good. Leave a comment if you've got a Suzuki, Aprilia, uh, Vespa, Suzuki, Vespa, Aprilia. Uh, I know I'm forgetting one. Kawasaki. They've got, they've got a Kawasaki ZX-14R 40th anniversary with that white, green, and blue paint job on the floor. They've got a ZX-10R 40th paint job on the floor. They've got a ZX-6 40th anniversary coming. So if you want one of them, they're going to get this stuff first. They're here in Plano, Texas on Highway 75. Make sure you give them a call. Their information is in the description of my every video i do give them a call talk to one of the salespeople. if you don't get the answer you won't talk to aj or mike cannon the sales manager they'll do anything they can to get you on a bike man i'm so glad i got to ride this for y'all and we'll see you on the next one god bless ride safe man awesome